I'm going to file and new level and I'm just creating empty world and just press create after that I'm going to window and environmental light and mix them and I'm just turn on all this and after that go down and simply check this follow metric for all right now later I'll using HDR light but currently I'm using this light setup for this and after that I'm just uh, need a landscape so go to landscape and just simply press create and it can create a normal default you know kind of a landscape over here now go to this section mode like selection mode and now you have to apply a material uh, on this uh, flow so for material i'm using quicksil bridge so simply click this quicksil bridge and i have already downloaded one uh, asset for this crown so you need to go to this uh, 3d surface and then snow i have downloaded this pure snow simply select and this is actually the snow material and just i'm pressing this add option once you click it will directly uh, like jump into the unreal engine now I'm just simply closing this and now uh, just simply click this landscape go down you can find this landscape material simply drag and drop into this here and you can see the material is applied over here now if you can't see the material just because of there is too much highlight over here so for that reason I am using a post process volume visual effects and post process volume and now I'm just uh, simply select its option and method global illumination should be lumen and then simply type exposure and over there you can find all the exposure options simply check this two and check this to all and then press one by one and just type infinite and simply turn this infinite extend just simply click and now you can see it started applying something on the flow now still if you can't find this you can simply press ctrl l and just change the light direction so that it can create some shadows on the ground just like this all right so now once you're happy with your lighting setup and all now I'm going to add our card material. Now if you notice, this is a little bit of replicating the material. So simply select the material. I'm just closing the landscape and now double click on the material. And after that, you need to go to tiling and just simply click this tiling option and press 0.1 by 0.1. Now you can see it started applying in a more good way. Also, you can change the light setup after adding this. Simply press Ctrl and L. And now you can change the light setups right from here. If you feel that lights are a little bit, you know, harsh, you can simply decrease it to, let's say, five, and now it's become more soft. Okay, now need to apply or now need to add the car over here. So now I'm going to this content and I'm just creating a new folder, name it to car, and just double click. Now I have downloaded this car right from Sketchfab. The link is in description. You can simply go and download. And this is an GLV file. So it's a very simple process to import. Go to downloads, double click, and this. Uh, window will popped up just simply type combine and uh, after that you just need to turn this option on that need to press import so i can see the model is imported over here simply drag and drop just turn off the static mesh and these are all the materials you need to check this is like for the brick and these are the, all the materials you can see over here also you can find the materials right from here as well like this is a glass this is a badges this is a paint so this is basically a normal paint simply double click and you can just simply turn it off and on and this is basically the body paint so I'm just going to change the color to a little bit of different kind of a thing, like lightish and the ready phone as well. All right, and now it's looking really nice. Also, you can do a lot of changes like emission and all. After that, just I'm going to press save and now it's close. So our most of the scene is ready. So let's import our HDRI in the scene. So to import our HDRI, simply click here and light. You can find this HDRI backdrop. Once you click, it started getting a new lighting on your scene. Now, this we notice this is kind of a ground. So yes, you can use this uh, as in background. So if you just go here, you can browse lots of HDRIs. And also you can simply go here and I'm just going to search HDRI and over there you can find the new HDRI which I have imported. So you can simply drag and drop this HDRI. So once you click on this projection center if and when you rotate this or like just decrease and increase you can understand what exactly it can do. So over there you can find this winter lake simply drag and drop. So it's looking actually our main scene. 
So what I'll do, I'll just decrease it like this and I'm just select the car and making it a little bit of top like this and just I'm increasing the shape of the car so that it will fit with our scene. So now it's looking more real. Okay, now if you want, you can use this also. If you don't want this, you can use our actual ground as well. So now I'm going to click here and here you can find add level sequence with the shots. So simply click here and now you can find this option. So this is the base path. Now number of shots, how many type of shots you want. Now here I'm just going to add a little bit of three because there's a demo. And now if you want a duplicate, you can simply click here like duplicate. But here I'm just making a complete a blank new canvas. And now the default time of every single shot. So if you want, you can increase it like eight seconds. So in this case, I'm just making it default like four or five seconds. And now if you want in a subsequence directory, uh, short increment, short numbers, you can really do that. Now, after that, just simply press create level sequence with the shots and trust me, it's just amazing. So now you can see there are one, two, three shots are already made for you with the camera. So simply double click in your camera and you can find the Cine Camera Actors already default set it for you. Simply click and here your camera. Now just closing this contain browser so that you can see this in a complete view. Now you can find this in a camera actor over here. Simply change the camera to DSLR, universal zoom to suppose like 30 millimeter. And I'm just adding a, you know, camera view, mm, just like this and decrease the aperture. And after that, go into crop settings. I'm just making it 2.39. So it will create some kind of a cinematic crop and focus settings and just decreasing it some kind of uh, like this. And yep, it's looking nice. So now let me show you after adding this, if you want to use your own landscape with this HDRI, how it will look like. So what I really need to do, simply click this HDRI backdrop, go down, you can find this advanced panel, simply click and now you can find this mesh. Simply select here and you need to type SPHERI sphere and simply select this sphere. So now what exactly it will do, it will project this right like a sphere. And here we go, this is your scene. Now you need to just uh, modify with your HDRI. So let me check which HDRI is actually looking good with our scene. So for this scene, I'm going to use this HDRI because it can create some cinematic lens flare, uh, which is really fascinating. So now set the camera here and I'm just selecting the Cine Camera Actor and I'm just increasing the focus distance. So somewhere here and now I'm going to down and you can find this lens and here you can find this bloom option. Simply turn this to and now you can see it's looking just amazing isn't it please do comment your feedback no. all right so now after that you just need to go back in your scene so just simply click here and this scene is ready now simply double click here and you can find out another camera with another settings and now simply select and you can change your another camera angle with a different camera and lighting setups and all and after that you can simply go back and select the third one so in this way you can basically lock the viewport on the shots and now this is the first shot there's a second shot and this will be the third shot. So in this way, you can render your separate separate shot in a single uh, like, you know, viewport just like a Premiere Pro. So yes, after that, just render it out. And for render, I'm just click here and uh, unsave and just delete this. And here, just anti-aliasing, make it to 26. Click this one and I'm just clicking this uh, camera and simply click that render all cameras because we have multiple cameras and just making to frame close. And after that, most importantly, just a PNG, JPEG or EXR. Here, you can use EXR sequence and make sure it should be zip one scan line. And then press accept and render local. And here is your output, the final one. And I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. If you find this tutorial helpful for you, please consider subscribe to this channel, World of VFX, for more amazing content. Myself, Rajat, see you next time. Till then, keep watching, keep rocking, World of VFX.